time to ride out one of your teammates, who's going to be the one who's going to be most concerned with how this jersey looks? Most concerned? I'm going to say right now, I'm going to say Steve Bernier and JR. I think JR <laughs> likes that work a certain way as well. Are they the pretty boys of the group? Uh, a little bit, I think we'd say that, yeah, a little bit. Uh, so when you first saw the jersey, what, what came to Um. You know, I was happy. I thought it. I thought it turned out well. You know, I was fortunate enough to be involved in the process from the beginning. So to see the finished product, uh, I think I was pretty happy. It looks pretty good. What did you guys want to do, and, and what different look did you want it to have from the old group? Well, I think we, you know, we wanted to have a little bit more aggressive uh, look on the shark, and at the same time keep the teal in there. That's kind of the staple of the franchise. And then, uh, from there, kind of go back to a little bit of an, more of an old school look. You know, and just get away from all the rocky kind of stuff that's kind of all through this kind of new age. Go back to some old school. And I think that's what this looks like now. What do you recommend all the fans who have all the old jerseys do with those now? Oh, you got to keep them. They're uh, for collectors' items now, and they still look great. You know, I think. Uh, you know, I think uh, our teal jersey and our, our third jersey, the black jersey, our two great looking jerseys still. So might as well keep them for collectors' items. So if you come with the old jersey, that's okay. The players don't mind. No, all the players don't mind, but, you know, I think um, this is kind of a new thing to kind of get, you know, people interested in the team again and buying the products again. I think it's been, the team's been here a while, so everyone's probably got the old jersey, so now's a good time to go get the new one. What do you think of the new improvements with the R RBK design? Um, it's good. I, like, it's, like I said, it's streamlined everything nicely, and um, it's, it's breathable, and, uh, you know, it fits well. I think um, everyone feels pretty comfortable right now. Right, give us the little bottle twirl. Let's kind of uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of <laughs> turn around. Let's kind of see, see the back of it. Yeah. Uh, just for Tom Holy. We're judging to see who's the best runway model, man. So far, I think Patrick Marlowe yeah. beat you. Oh, Patty's got me for sure. Look at him over there. His hair's always perfect. Everything. <laughs> Did you have something to do with the design as well, like the other players did? Uh, no, I just. Uh, kind of came here and saw it, it looked great, so I gave them both a thumbs up, but yeah, Kyle, uh, Mike, and Patty, they uh, they kind of designed it, but it looks, they did a great job. We were kind of teasing some of the other players, which players do you think are going to be most concerned with how good they look on the ice? Ooh, that's, well, Curtis Brown came with really, really big arms this year, so I think his arms are going to be <laughs> popping up this year, but yeah, some of the younger guys, like Steve Bernier, he'll, he'll be uh, looking real sharp for all the girls. We know that you're one of the hardcore hockey players, you get teeth knocked out and keep mm -hmm. on playing, do you really care how you look when you're on the ice? Not really, but it is uh, It is lighter. It is uh, supposed to be uh, a little bit drier as the game goes on. So it'll, it'll be a better fit for me. But, you know, I really don't care how I look as long as I perform well. But these jerseys, you know, they say they're going to perform a little bit better than the old ones. So I'm excited. As you found out over the past two years, I don't think there's a person in this city or maybe in the Bay Area that doesn't have an old Sharks jersey. Right. What do they do with all of those keep now? Keep them. Yeah, keep <laughs> them. I, I like the old ones too. So I like the, uh, the 91 jerseys. I like the... You know, last year's version, like these ones, so collect them, uh, collect them as you can. Outstanding. Thanks, sure. brother. Appreciate Thanks. it. So, as we saw a video clip of you playing up there, a lot of things have changed. Now even the jerseys have changed. Is it just making you feel older and older or what? Yeah, it does. I think I could have used some of these jerseys back in that day to have an advantage. But I, I really like these uniforms. I like the fact that uh, my players, my trainers are really involved. <laughs> not only look, but uh, the efficiency of how they can see so it. This is another thing that's just showing how far sports and franchises are taking it now to try and get the best as they can be. Even now down to the jerseys and how they fit. Well, I think every athlete's looking for a competitive edge. You know, in their sport, where there's uh, you know, the speed, and the, uh, by the end of the game, and you want your players to be fresh or have any break. So uh, I think all the top athletes in the world in every sport the type of equipment and the, uh, the uniforms that they're wearing, it does make a difference. As you know, the players probably don't care how good they look when they're on the ice. Oh, yeah, they do. Who are you kidding? <laughs> they want to look good on this big screen. <laughs> As the GM, I'm sure you want them to look good down here, don't you? They, uh, they do, but they uh, take in the involvement in the look and the design. But I'd say it's probably 90% of the function, and uh, they like how it works. When you first saw it, what did you think? What are the big differences from last year? Um, I think the wicking ability, uh, the weight, um, you know, less drag on it. Players, you know, some of the rinks we play in are pretty hot, full building. You know, it makes a little difference at the end. I gotta tell you, there's some fans who are like, "What? A new jersey? I just, I just bought one last year." You know, everybody in the city has an old jersey. What are they supposed to do with those now? Keep those too. So, <laughs> um, but I think it's it's something that's been league wide. And, uh, I think it is a good move, and it's uh, this is a uniform that will have a long time to 
you really haven't put up anything new. I mean, is it time for maybe to, to breathe some fresh blood, give the fans something new to go out there and get to show their support for the team? Well, I mean, our fans, I think they tell you they're the best in the league, and I believe that they are. But uh, I just think these uniforms, it's uh, it's the time and place for it. I don't expect any more changes for quite a while. But it's, uh, it's been an interesting process. And I think our players enjoyed seeing all the work that went into it, not only from the business side, but from our trainers also. So Doug, we haven't had a chance to uh, visit with you for a while, and I was going to get you to comment on uh, on locking up your uh, your big guns, I guess, contractually for a while. I mean, that's uh, I've got to make you feel a little deep at ease. Well, ultimately, it's a great compliment to this organization, but it's, uh, I've got to give all the credit to the players, the guys like Patty Marlowe and Joe Ford and Milan Mahalik and Craig Bay. They commit to wanting to be here. Our job is to make this be a, a place the players want to play and, and stay in. Driving force of that is they think that they have a chance to win, not only for this year but for several years going forward. We did. We spent you know, over $75 million this summer uh, on our players that we know uh, that are truly committed to being part of this franchise. You also brought in another guy, uh, JR, who is at the tail end of his career, but how much do you think he can do for this team? And is he here as much to try and help out in that locker room and, and just teach guys how to win as he is? I told JR just to come in and bring it to uh, to the rink what you can bring. I've known him since he was 18. He's a competitor. He loves the game of hockey. Uh, he doesn't want to look back and have any what ifs. He's played in the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, he's the same age as some of the, I think, the really strong, important players in the league. He's the same age as Mike McDonald, Tammy Sorrell, and Billy Guerin. So I think he's uh, he's got hockey left in him. Um, all he has to do is impress Ronnie and earn his ice time every night. And, uh, that's all we need from JR. How hard was it to get him off the golf course? I hear he was playing every single day. Oh, he's a good player. He's a great athlete, and uh, it was real easy. Uh, I've known his wife since uh, she was 17 when uh, she and JR came to uh, Chicago. And I don't think she wanted him to look back and wonder. And uh, we think we're a great environment for him. He knows our coaches. He knows uh, Brian Marchman and Mike Ricci very well. I think it's a good opportunity for all of us. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it.